how are the later some students dedicate because they have a
all of us listeners. So after the COVID-19 pandemic, welcome to all of you to Singapore Econs and COVID-19 meetings. So just a quick introduction of uh, myself. So I think uh, Professor Tony has made a good introduction. So I have this big emphasis on the uh, virus and small practice. We will try to understand the interaction of virus to the host and by understanding how the virus interacts with the host. So over the years, my lab has been focusing a lot on the on virus, like the dengue, the chikungunya, the Zika virus, as well as the human enterovirus that causes the disease, or what we call the Sukhumi, which is quite predominant as part of the world in China, like as we have talked about in China. And of course, recently, we did the COVID-19 outbreak in my lab, which has quite a substantial effort to look at the human so I think just now in the first quarter is the third presentation. I think there's now a fantastic talk to provide the background in terms of you know, how we are going to be able to do this. So I have to go to the professor. Liu has shown you a very nice introduction on this topic. So I think this slide is basically I'm just going to show that in my lab to give us a fair bit of effort to try to understand how the virus interacts with all the cells. For example, how the virus binds to the cells and how the virus actually changes the entry process into the cells to ensure the body's market, you know, in terms of fighting virus or terrorists. Right? At the same time, you know, once the virus gets into the cells, the replication mechanism, whether it's RNA synthesis, the genome synthesis, or the transmission process, is called the other nice target that we can come up with in terms of finding the so in my lab, uh, we are very typical of the academic lab in the US. We do not try to teach you how to come up with new uh, discoveries, new antibiotics, new diseases. So I think this slide tries to capture much of the research we've done in the lab setting, the academic lab setting, when it comes to the antibiotic discovery. So we focus on that allows you to switch on pumps or off of pumps. And then once a pump is off, the pump begins the real world analysis. And subsequently, we will then try to look at the whole world and we have to try to do the job in the people. And at the same time, uh, you know, we need to look at the mechanism of action of the host. How does it target the virus replication? Is it targeted by the host not doing anything? Is it targeted by the host? And of course, we have an opportunity to look at medicinal chemistry, which is where we can get further into how we introduce new drug, and the vaccine can be a better drug, a safer drug, uh, in terms of developing a new model towards the end of the clinical trial. Right? So, very typical, this is how we do clinical trial in the laboratory. You know, the aim of clinical trial is to so in terms of developing the screening for COVID-19, the lab is actually now establishing the process of clinical screening. As shown in this on the first slide, we show you how many clinical testing can be established in the screening, how clinical screening is the cells can be produced, mobile plane, can be subject to the cells of infection, and then we look at the treatment, and by doing the treatment, such a way that you can't get a single 
Not yet, not yet. Sorry, I'm having a missing now. Huh? I'm having a missing now, sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'll just join you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, lah. Go ahead. Yeah, hi, Mr. Yap. Uh, so now. Hi, Dr. Dhamani. Yeah, yeah. So, I think we can start now. Just maybe just to thank everyone for joining today's uh, training. We have uh, Dr. Dhamani, which is the former director of the uh, NBA. The privilege, uh, thanks of now also for uh, uh, organizing and also on our behalf. So, Mr. Yap, uh, if you have if you have any questions, feel free to ask the uh, other family in the room. Okay, yeah. So, I showed this slide. I show you Uh, three, three of us, three of us. Yeah.
早期来讲，基本上都是精神类型方面。那随着我们的这种化学研究，它本质的认识也加深。了。也就是对应一个个，伊系从二线开始接触，呀，所以咯。
都催化剂呢，要涉及到催化剂之间的一个兼容性，还要涉及到催化剂跟结构之间的一个一个一个兼容性。解决了这个问题之后呢，就可以实现它的一个选择性的功效。那我们给出三个例子来看看它的一个功效。那在这个三种反应当中呢，我们选择了一个它的一个小氯硫酸作为一些催化剂呢，它就可以选择性的氯化了亚胺。亚胺呢是这个反应当中的一个物质。就使得的亚胺的活性呢，啊，刚好可以非常好的匹配这个中间体的一个活性呢，从而对它进行一个有效的控制。这样的话，一步一步我就可以生成阿尔法基氨基对它氨基酸的一个原成。这个理论呢是可以从三个简单的一个定义，仅仅是需要进行一定的这个加在一块之后呢，通过两个催化剂的一个协同催化，它就瞬间就可以生成这么一种阿尔法强基氨基氨基酸的一个结果呢，同时它的一个非对应选择性。对于选择性啊，是非常好的一个一个控制。那么近期呢，我们发现呢，这个鲁多的这个试剂呢，就已经陆续在用了。其实很多吸引剂可以的，最近的一个结果呢，就是我们发现呢，这种吸引剂的啊，这么一个化合物在八的情况下呢，它如果能够形成一个一个吸引剂八的这个固中间体的话，它就可以实现中间体对中间体的控制啊，从而呢，就是以后呢，就可以生成这么一个阿尔法甲基酸的啊啊的这么一个。那、啊、除了这个啊强基耶利格之外呢，就我们给出一个氨基耶利格的例子。这个地方呢，就是如果是用氨基来取代啊这个纯的这个化合物的话，我们就可以把这个三种的反应呢，就一步呢就得到一个阿尔法贝塔苯氨基酸的一个原成。啊，它同样呢，它也可以非常精准的能够控制它的一个选择性。它理论上呢，就含有两个生物基的化合物呢，它有四个等于一个基。那么呢，我们仅仅是用催化剂的它的一个。四个一步进当中的一个，就实现这一步首先化合物的一个精准的合成。啊，除了这个氨基耶利的之外呢，就类似的这个中间体呢，还包括原根、原的一个形成的一个一个原中间体。啊，如果没有这个第三种的存在下呢，这一个传统的反应路径呢，它就会发生一个啊碳基插入，就走这一条路。啊，这个碳呢，就是这个碳形成一个一个碳基插入的一个化学键。那么呢，再有一个第三种的存在下呢，啊，同时呢。催化剂呢来固化这么一个氨呢，就是我们呢就可以把这么一个啊中间体给它保护住了，从而形成新的等于呢，就获得了一个啊这么一个一个化合物，得到了非常好的一个啊对应选择性的一个对应选择性的控制。所以以上我给出的一个例子呢，它都是通过亚胺作为一个因子进行一个亚胺的一个加成反应，给出的催化体系呢还是一个金属小分子的催化。实际上呢，我们在啊过去呃接近二十年的研究当中呢。除了前面谈到的这个氨基酸反应、氨基的加成之外呢，我们实现了多类的 micro 反应、auto 反应，还有包括其他的一些基反应。你不同的反应呢，不同的模式呢，你要选择不同的一个啊催化剂来选择性的固化这个模式啊，从而呢形成不同的一个系统催化体系，来达到了这种受精分子的一个高效合成。啊，我们这个工作呢，其实在呃这个三种反应发表之后呢，就被收录到这个。这个生产设施上面上面去了，这个呢就是需要第三方的一个它的一个重复和一个一个在客体规模上的一个验证啊，也可以达到类似的一个一个效果。我们的这个多组分反应用协同催化的这么一个方一个方式来控制多组分反应的它的一个选择性呢，我们在这个领域呢是做出了一些早期的一些一些贡献啊。同时呢，这种协同催化呃体系呢本身也是一个非常高效的一些体系。啊，这个呢是在其他的这个呃反应当中呢，也会得到了比较好的一些一些应用。有了这么一个方法之后呢，就是我们还是希望能构建一些在具有生理活性的一些化合物。那其中呢就包括一些天然产物呢是肯定是具有生理活性的。比如说呢是这么一个天然产物呢，如果说你过关的那种化合物，传统的肯定呢它就很难做。那么呢如果是用我们的这个反应的话，就是通过一个啊不对称的一个试管。非常简单的原料呢，通过一个协同催化体系呢，以后呢就可以得到它的关键的一个一个受体框架，从而呢就简化了它的一个合成的工作。啊，同时这里呢也是一个天然产物。啊，那么我们通过三种反应呢，以后呢就可以得到它的一个关键的一个中间体。另外呢，这个反应呢还可以，它的兼容性非常好，就是你如果说它的纯哈，它跟它的结合，不管是它的结合呢，它都是没有问题，它就可以跟这个纯选择性的发生这个反应呢，就可以应用于许多啊药物。修饰就可以得到啊比较好的一个应用。啊，另外呢，如果你把这个
，很类似的串联方式，就是介绍起来的话，它就可以一步一步的就能构建不同阶段的一些手续的一些杂乱的一些网络，还包括还一步构建一些很复杂的，也比较复杂的网络。比如说这个三个简单的例子，那么如果一个呃三种反应，再加上在后续的一个呃二加四的一个就是凹凸反应和一个氧化反应的话。
the member of the Yeah, in order to produce the synthetic 
all the great departures in all areas, so Mount Kwan can be dried up and it can help us. <laughs> Moreover, we also need to move the water content, and it was found that uh, strength exposure uh, and also the, uh, the MCAO operation and camping calorie increase the brain water content, and this, again, this condition can be improved by the vitamin C, pyrex tab, and also uh, the extract of impure polyphenol and copper extract of one plant, and also all doses of our uh, all dispersible feed that more than with the copper extract and protein and protein. The neurological severity of of the athlete was also assessed, and it was shown that. The strength exposure to grass is subject to the MCO. Significantly increase the neurological severity score throughout the three months of study period. However, this change can be improved by all treatments used in this study, particularly the particularly the liver product, as shown. Moreover, we also assess the first one for two by the digital donor care. Again, it shows the same pattern of our product can also improve the first one uh, impairment induced by the MDL and the stress part MCL as to this figure. In order to go for the possible underlying focus on the alterations of the oxidative stress changes and it has been found that uh, after the exposure to the uh, stress and then subject to the MCO, the level of the malonca and the carbon level uh, in the stratum, supercortic and hypothalamus were very uh, significantly uh, increased. However, again, it can be improved by the standard lab, such as the priority time, paranepin, and, uh, and so do the developed product that has been used in this case uh, at all doses. Moreover, now we also focus on the operations of the inflammatory marker, and we as far that uh, strain exposure uh, together with the MCA significantly increase the inflammatory marker, such as the uh, Alpha, and this can be uh, improved by vitamin C treatment, NFT, PERS, TAM, and also the extract of the ginger, holy basil, homage, that then, particularly the medium uh, and the high doses of the uh, all of these personal feet and model with the combined extract of ginger and holy basil together with the complex small one for the kind of in addition to tumor factor alpha, we also assess the alteration of the NF company and it shows the same pattern of change. You can see here that the strength exposure together with the MCO significantly increased the NF capability in the cortex and this can be improved by the our treatment, particularly the uh, the all of this personal feed that has been loaded with the of combined extract of the ginger and the holy basil together with the public for hypothesis. In addition to the information and the oxidative layer, we also put that on a process because the mechanism for the more on the brain information, but while it is a bit of my area, as we found that the stress exposure together with MCO telling you this has best expressions in cortex. And it can be improved by the strap of ginger, polybasil, the mixing strap, and also the medium dose of the all of this personal. Uh, in addition, that this also to the similar pattern of changes. Uh, the changes are of the alcohol uh, that decreased during the traffic and subject to the MCA can be improved by the medium and the high dose.
that's called the dispersible or this or dispersible model with the combined instrument and the OB analysis. Moreover, the brain plasticity in the uh, operation of the main device, the poor factor, was also investigated and it was found that the strain exposure uh, with, together with the MCOC can tell me including the BDNF. However, this condition can be improved by the medium and the high doses of the different product. In, uh, uh, in addition to that, this personal feed that has been loaded with the active ingredient that I have already demonstrated, we also investigated in the worst types of this term, and in this case, we also protest on the operations of the uh, short punishment induced by the polynormal breast feed that is rebuilt for the uh, anti paralysis. Uh, this polyhormone was containing the ginger. Chinese day and also uh, wood here mushroom plant and we also uh, study as the polycarbon recipe and also use it as a functional ingredient in order to in order to develop uh, develop the genetic thing uh, as short here, right? It was found that uh, both the polycarbon recipe itself and the product containing this ingredient significantly the brain function uh, as shown here, you can see that it shows less uh, white brain area. And it also includes the hormone to strong connection of state stress, the one's relaxation property, and also the, the expression of the uh, immune Now, a total effective of crisis stress, which in turn indicates the elevation of the effective of time, the most important muscle of the intelligent uh, agent. Uh, in action, we also put on the genetic regulation. It has been found that uh, both the polyhormone recipe and the product containing this ingredient significantly uh, improve the expressions of the DNF uh, one. And also, the history of cellular C3 in the silver point of Thank <laughs> you. 
ยากจังเลยเกลียดจังเลยอย่าแต่เน้นนิดเลยตัวอีกคนไว
这样子的。